Students of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, were given the opportunity to learn about what is required of a media practitioner in today's world. The Faculty of Humanities and Education representative on the Guild of Students hosted a media forum entitled The Contemporary Media Professional, which featured presenters including Samantha John, O'Brien Haynes, and Andy Johnson, all respected media practitioners. The symposium formed part of the Faculty of Humanities and Education Week, which runs from October 27th to 31st and sensitizes students to the offerings of the faculty while putting the talents of the students of the faculty on display. The symposium took place at the UEJFK Lecture Theatre and attracted, among others, communications studies students and lecturers. Each speaker delivered a presentation on a specific topic and facilitated questions while also sharing their experiences and giving insight into the media industry. First at the podium was news presenter and radio talk show host Samantha Jun, who was asked to speak on working in frontline media. You can't be in broadcasting and be shy. So that's the main thing. You don't have to necessarily be in the spotlight. There are many other jobs in the companies they from, I mean, the presenters are frontline, they are newsroom staff, reporters. Because of the web, we have web departments now, people who are coordinating videos for promotional stuff, Instagram, we have photographers just dealing in web now. We have, besides the reporters, you have your management, your assignments editors, your editors, your video editors. You have to be able to write your scripts. There are many, so there are many, many different little pockets and different people who contribute to what you see is the final product. We have people doing the graphics. Those are all the supers and stuff you see on the screen. So there are lots of opportunities and spaces for any of you who are interested in media. And it's not just the obvious jobs like mine or the reporters that are there for your taking. Next, O'Brien Haynes spoke of the management and business aspects of the media industry. Our job is, of course, to entertain in some cases and to inform. Sometimes the information that we have to dispense clashes with our responsibility as a business, which is earning money. Case in point, about uh, eight years ago, I had a situation with a 12 o'clock newscast sponsored by Royal Castle, and the lead story in the newscast was a case of food poisoning at Royal Castle. You're getting a sense of what I'm talking about when I say that sometimes the business of media clashes with the responsibility that we have to expunge in the business. That is an ongoing situation. Um, it expa it's expanded in many other ways. Um, for example, in personality programming, when an announcer or a radio personality decides to take up a case or a cause or, posi or a position, and uh, the challenge that media management faces in um, they dealing with that position and how it impacts upon the bottom line of the dollar. You want to speak about a business, a situation, a company, an organization that you may feel is doing an injustice to, um, to the people of Trinidad and Tobago and so you decide to speak about it. But that business is also a major contributor to your monthly salary. And so that is an, an, an ongoing situation. The final presenter was Andy Johnson, who spoke on the transition from a commercial media house to heading a state media house. Truth be told, there are a lot of people in the country who felt that somebody like me ought not to have been decided to go and work for the government. Journalists going to work for governments, in any case, are always a, a contentious issue. But I want to tell you that there's nowhere in the world in, in which there's a free press and a, and a democratic society even where there are undemocratic societies, you don't have journalists going back and forward between the government and state media, government information and regular media. The interesting thing is that at the time that I took this job, there's a man named Jay Carney, who was one Friday afternoon the Washington bureau chief for Time magazine, the, the venerable Time magazine. And the next Monday morning, he was press secretary to the President of the United States. And he spent three years there. And right now, he's a senior political commentator on CNN. And the person who replaced him a couple of months ago also came from journalism. And in Trinidad and Tobago, you know, we have great examples of people who left the newsroom to go and work for, for the government of Trinidad and Tobago and went back to the newsroom. 
We have one of those persons now who is a candidate already for the next general election coming. So it, it ought to be nothing new. News for sought feedback from the attendees who had this to say. I think it was a good job um, bringing media personnel on campus, you know, to actually get the students out and let them see what the feel of media is all about. I think that in itself was a very good job um, by the faculty of humanities rep um, and by extension the Gill, you know, because you have students on campus who would like to get in that, that feel and actually getting an opportunity to engage, you know, with these media personnel, Samantha John being one of them, you know, give them a experience and a, a, greater, a greater appreciation of the feel uh, media. I think it was an engaging symposium and they gave the opportunity for students to communicate with persons in the field, which was an excellent opportunity for all persons who are interested not only in journalism per se, but persons who are interested in media or the backgrounds of media, for instance. It was very informative. I like uh, Samantha John, her, her presentation. Uh, I think that the students, they do not know exactly what it entails to be a journalist, what it means to be in the face of the public, in the constant eye of the public, because it's very demanding one, trying to maintain your personality and not trying to, and also trying not to compromise your personality. Um, I think she did a wonderful job. The questions were very engaging and I think that it was, it was very good. I think it was a very, very useful experience for our students to have. I think that um, any time uh, students could be sensitized about the importance of the media and the value that it brings to society and the value that it brings to democracy is always uh, um, an important uh, exposure for students. It's really important exposure for students. So I think uh, having the media symposium was a great idea. Um, I'm glad that many students were able to come and I feel as though uh, students left feeling very edified and having a, a deeper insight into what the media does, how it works, and ultimately what its role is in society.